Look what I got. More fresh garden red potatoes. Guess what we're gonna make with this? We're gonna make some potato salad, some red potato salad. It's a different spin on my regular potato salad. And let me tell you, look at that. This is just me to tell y'all, I love you. I don't know if this is a heart or a butt cheek or whatever, but that's cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover these with water. We're gonna bring them to a boil until they're fork tender. I have washed and scrubbed these because I'm gonna leave the skin on on this potato salad. So let's get these a cooking. All right, while our potatoes are cooking, let's make our filling and sauce to go on our potato salad. I'm gonna eyeball out a cup of mayonnaise. And use whatever kind of mayonnaise you want. And I'm gonna, well, that ain't gonna fit. I'm gonna start out with the cup. And once my potatoes get cut up and cool, we'll see if we need any more. Cause you can always add, but you can't take away. So let's do a cup of mayonnaise. And it looks like I'm gonna finish my Hellman's off. And guess what I got in my pantry? A little bit of Dukes. All right, there, cup of mayo. Lick your finger. Cup of sour cream. I think this is literally about a cup left in here. It's amazing how that works out. Get to use this up and clean your refrigerator out at the same time. Come on. All right, I think I need a little bit more. Hold on. Luckily, I had more sour cream in the refrigerator. So there. That's a good cup of sour cream and a good cup of mayonnaise. Let's get this mixed up. All right, I'm gonna take a good teaspoon of salt eyeball it you know we're gonna take some garlic powder a good teaspoon of it measure with your heart a little bit of onion powder you're gonna eyeball that then we're gonna take three green onions wash them and I'm just gonna use my kitchen shears and we're just gonna snip them in here all the way down to the white this is so good. I call it loaded red skin potato salad. You can eat it hot or you can eat it cold. It don't matter. And it's always better the next day. Sometimes I eat it cold. And sometimes I warm it up in the microwave the next day. Depends on how frisky I'm feeling. So let me get rest of these cut up in here. I'm cheating today. You're supposed to use bacon. Well, I don't want to cook no bacon today. I just, I don't want to smell it. And sometimes you just don't. So I'm using real bacon pieces and it's 2.5 ounces. I'm putting the whole shebang in here. If you don't want to use these, fry you some bacon. I just don't want to. Then we're going to add two cups, which is one package of sharp cheddar cheese. Put it in here, stir it up, put it to the side. Let it get merry and happy. And then wait on your taters to cool. And that's it. And then we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna eat it. So this is what your base looks like. And this is good. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do. My potatoes are done boiling. And what I do is I just poke a knife right down the middle of them to see if they're tender. And they are. So I pull them, I put them on a baking sheet and I let them sit here for about an hour just to cool down. Then we're gonna cut them up and put them in the yummy mayonnaise sour cream sauce, y'all. I'm so excited about this. A little tidbit about me is I come out of the womb loving potatoes. I could eat potatoes every single day for the rest of my life and not get tired of it. So I'm excited. So these better hurry up and cool down. All right, my potatoes are cooled down enough to where I can work with them and not scorch my hands. So what I do is I cut it in half. I cut that half in half, and then I just chop it up. Bite-sized pieces. And I throw it in my filling. Leave the skin on or take it off if you don't like it. I washed and scrubbed mine, and I know we'll eat it. So we're gonna cut these up. Put them in our mixture, y'all. Let's dump them. Oh, yeah. I got two left that I don't know if I'm gonna use or not. Oh. 
y'all can smell this. Mm. Yummy, 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 yummy. My potatoes are still a little hot. I ain't gonna lie, they're a little hot. I think this is perfect. Oh my goodness, it's just like a loaded baked potato. And who don't love a loaded baked potato? When we go out to a restaurant, my kids always want a loaded baked potato. Now they can have it at home in the potato salad. So yep, here we go. This is perfect. Remember, you can eat it hot, you can eat it cold, and it's so, so good. There you go. Loaded red skin potato salad. Mmm. I'm gonna go on a food coma today, y'all. Go make you some and try it. You'll be thanking me, I promise. Hope you're having a great Monday. Enjoy your 4th of July week and go and love your family. And remember, I love y'all. I, I, I'm digging in, y'all. I'm back, let's take a break. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm doing the happy potato dance. That shit's good. Mm. I'm taking another bite and I don't care. Cheers. Love you.